Your boy. <laughs> yeah. Harlem, New York. Hat wearing. Dipset. Dancing. Writer. Lyrical. J.R. Writer. Your boy J.R. Writer. Uh, <laughs> it's basically attack of the uh, mumble rap or punk rap. Yeah. Attack of punk rap. Yeah, you said it again. Um, <laughs> J.R. Ryder has released his new art for his new project coming out uh, called I Really Rap. Mm-hmm. That's what it's called. And uh, his new uh, cover art kind of takes from Lil Yachty's uh, cover art. And um, uh, on the cover art, uh, it's more like a, like an animated. And he's kind of taking aim at some of these, these, these rappers that are out here that are kind of making moves. But... Um, you know, but he has them all sitting there, like in the theater, right? You got Riff Raff in here, Bad Bobby, XXX Tentacion, Danny Brown, uh, Ugly God, uh, Yachty, Lil Uzi Vert, Riff Raff. They're mm-hmm. all in here. Yeah, I actually thought that was Chance the Rapper, but it says here in the editor's notes that it was not Chance the Rapper. That was actually uh, Ugly Ugly God. Yeah. Uh, he's basically taking aim at, is that Kaepernick? No, is that Kaepernick? Is that right right there? I was like, was that that artist that passed away? Nah, no. that's, that doesn't look like yeah, it. Yeah, I haven't seen it, man. Go, go look it up, man. It's for J.R. Riders, I Really Rap album cover. Okay. Or mixtape cover, I'm not really sure. Uh, he's, he's basically, yeah, I'm actually surprised that Danny Brown's here, in here, to be honest with you. Not because I think Danny Brown, Danny Brown's dope list, but I know a lot of people think, consider him as a dope rapper. Uh, but he's just kind of sitting here in the movie theater with his his J's on, with a Supreme stamp, and uh, he feels he's on his cell phone. Like, what in the fuck is going on? It looks like he's uncomfortable. Yeah, it looks like he's out of place. Yeah, he's like, uh, what what am I doing here? How did I end up here? It actually made a pretty strong statement. But the probably most interesting thing was uh, Danny Brown came out and was like, "Yo, you better you better like." Kind of like, don't put me in this. Do, do in this your category. homework. Yeah, do your homework. And uh, J.R. Ryder responded. Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to listen to that. Uh, I did my I homework can, pretty I much. I can't do this voice that you have. So uh, just send me the lyrics because I'm not going to listen to this. I'll show. read your lyrics. I don't want to hear you spit them. Which is pretty damn disrespectful. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about this? Do, do we do we need this? Well, because I, I think he doesn't need him to send them. He can just find them online. <laughs> you uh, go to genius.com? Yeah, you just go over there, you know, <laughs> lyrics.com. And right. yeah, I mean, he doesn't have to. He doesn't need to get him to send him. He can find him himself. So this is being just disrespectful, <laughs> pretty much, because he can easily find the lyrics on his own. Yeah, He's like nah, bitch, send him to me. He's like nah, I want you to send him to me because then at least I know I got him from you. It's like me hearing you. J.R. Ryder is definitely a lyricist. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he's never really had like the huge super buzz, except for when Dip- Dipset was kind of popping their hardest. Even then, he's even then, I believe he didn't have a bigger a bigger buzz he. That he could have had. Right. Even when he, when Dipset was popping, like, right. and he even had a little name at that point. It wasn't as big as it should have been, I think. Right, right. Or could have been. Right. He, he's always been a dope artist. I mean, he's like a up tempo, you know, spitting bars. I mean, like, he's got wordplay, bars. Right. fucking metaphors, anything, you know what I'm saying? He, he uses the, the fucking English, you know what I'm saying? English to the full extent, yo. Right. And like uh, metaphors, similes, you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. I Double think, entendres, whatever. He, he throws it all in there. He fucking. I think that come some, you know, with like JR, I, I don't know. Maybe we'll hear something different with this one. I, I'm actually kind of interested to see what he's going to be doing with, with in the new age, yeah. you know, what, what he's going to sound like uh, now. Uh, but, you know, sometimes like with the East Coast, man, they, they kind of have like this, this one kind of style of rap where it's kind of like the Cassidy style, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where. It's kind of like this box flow almost, you know what I'm saying? No. Uh, and it doesn't really, you know, it doesn't really like, you know, there's, you know, there's no infle- inflection, voice inflections. There's, you know what I'm saying? It's just kind of like a, the bars be tight, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, you know, as far as like changing it up and doing different things, you don't really hear a lot of that. Nah. Uh, so I'm actually interested in seeing what J.R. Ryder is going to do uh, with he always this. Had, he's always had good production on his shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, decent at least. Like right. he's always had pretty good production where it's like it ain't, it, it has that dip set of, Effect, feel, yeah, saying, yeah right. it has that feel. So I wonder if he's gonna keep that. Shit, I mean, or if he's just gonna move on to something. I mean, what Metro Boom? I, I don't know. I don't, yeah, think, right I don't think he's fucking Metro. I don't think he's gonna be fucking yeah, Metro. I don't Boone. think that's. Uh, but, yeah. but uh I mean, 
I, I gotta respect him for not, you know, not backing down from Danny, Danny Brown. I gotta kind of respect that. Fuck yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he, he didn't, he didn't, uh, Everybody he changed his mind. <laughs> right, right. He was like, I know what I, I said. Right, right. You don't need to tell me to do my homework. He basically was like, I did my homework and I know right. what I, how I feel about it. I mean, it's kind of easy to diss these, these other guys though. You know what I'm saying? So, but, uh, you know, he's definitely including some other people in here that, that weren't included. I guess, you know, like even Riff Raff. A lot of people like Riff Raff. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? I'm not a big fan of Riff Raff. I know some people like him or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But there's, you know. there's moments. I mean, he's funny. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, he just says some wild shit sometimes. Yeah, but uh, There's moments that, you know what I'm saying, that he'll spit something and it'll surprise me. And I'm like, okay. But right. even for the most part, yeah, I'm not really a fan. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm interested in seeing what Jared Wright is going to do. Uh, it's going to be full of just, just lyrics. It's going to be Yeah, I think it is. And I, I just don't want that, man. I, I don't I don't want to hear I don't want to hear Because it, it just seems like the easy thing to do. What if he goes you know in there and he praises all these rappers? <laughs> Or he has them all. Like, has the whole, These are all his features. Yeah, yeah. Like he has, he, he, he has everyone buzzing, thinking that he's dissing them and shit. But that hell, is, nah, bro. He'll that'd get, be some shit. The people that fuck with Jared Ryder would yeah. not fuck with him anymore. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, if he had all those features, right, right. But yeah. at the same time, though, man, like, um, you know, it's maybe this is the new trend, man. You know, For the, old, the the old heads. To, yeah, to I just don't want this to become like this old head thing where everybody's like. You're fuck better. Your purple, fuck your purple dreads and your skinny jeans. It's, you know, it's like, all right, you know, I kind of been hearing that for a long ass time now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, oh, we've man. been saying that for a while. Nah. Right, I've said it a few times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, though I've praised some of them, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Yeah. But, you know, I've, I've said this. Styles are just, just yeah, red dreads and green dreads and yellow dreads and all that. You know what I'm saying? That's, I guess it's just a way of standing out. But, you know, I don't know, man. You know, we'll see, I guess. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what Jr. puts upon us because I mean, yeah. it's going to be interesting just to hear what he's going to put out now. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because even <laughs> based off of that, right? I was listening to which we're going to review later. I was listening to um, uh, your boy um, Black Eminem. I can't think of his name right now. Hobson. Hobson. I was listening to Hobson, and uh, it, I was listening to some of his shit, and he kind of picks up from some of the new. The new wave too, like yeah. just some of the style or whatever. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Not not completely, but you know, like he's a very aware of you know what's going the on trend. now. The, the kind of trend. Yeah. I'm not saying he doesn't. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's interesting. I want to hear what how Jr. Ryder is going to say. Is going to sound like the same old Jr. Ryder, or is he going to have some kind of new, fresh spin to him? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. we'll see.